Story number three. Will Republicans have enough votes come 2020? You know, this is a, a, a story that uh, just was destined to make it into the top eight. Uh, where people are kind of uh, re worried about uh, the direction that this country is, is going when it comes to politics. Uh, they look at this Trump administration. A lot of people have lost confidence in the Trump administration. A lot of people have lost confidence in the Democratic Party. A lot of people have just lost confidence in politics at, in general. And uh, when you look at where we're headed in 2020, people will be looking at the uh, the race. And they'll be looking at the Republican Party. And a lot, there's been so many people jumping off the bandwagon. I mean, we've got uh, just a lot of politicians have, have just just exited. And some of them have gone independent. I think it was... Uh, uh, there was a man who uh, popular, popularized the slogan, the deep state, uh, Michael Ofgren, and he is now saying that he doesn't want to be affiliated with the Republican Party in general uh, because of Trump. So he's uh, jumping off the bandwagon and he is basically saying that uh, the way the, the way the deep state term has been used has really uh, shied away from from what he uh meant it to be and uh so he's he's exiting the republican party then we have people like uh uh how you you, you see people like kanye west trying to get african americans to vote for the republic republican party he's trying to see he's telling african americans that the democratic party is not doing them any good so you see this these new stance on uh what direction people should take and uh and people and there's a lot of republicans wondering how in the world is the, even the democrats able to gain ground we saw it happen in uh, virginia where uh, they seized power, uh, and now Governor Northam is, is setting his sights on gun control. So you see story number three, uh, will the Republicans have enough votes come 2020? This is big. When you see a, a, a candidate or a, a, a president like Donald Trump, who has been losing popularity because people just don't like the guy. I mean, they don't, they don't like, some people like his policies, some people don't. It's very, very hard to tell this early in the game how how the 2020 results will will come out. But uh, right now, it's it's up in the air. Nobody knows. And uh, you you look at this the, you look at this administration, and you see how it's handled Washington's business, and the people's business. Uh, I mean, some people are very, very pleased with this president. Some people are pleased with his policies. The fact that he's got uh, he's he's got trade he's got trade talk going. Uh, the fact that he's a uh, Signed some uh, trade deals, but I mean, well, well, been affiliated with some trade deals, but but right now uh, he's he's he, when it comes to his popularity, how he's handled his party, how he's handled the business of Washington. There are still a lot of people who do not like this president, and it comes from each aisle, each race, and uh, you can see that some people say that he's uh, stirred up the pot and racial issues. He's got a, he's got the country divided. So when you look at the stands on Trump, it's it's very hard to tell what the results in 2020 will be i know the republicans will probably have to work just as hard as they did to get trump as le elected if they are still on his bandwagon if they still claim to be republicans some people may just say they're just trumpites or or trump republicans but right now the nothing is looking uh, business as usual in washington homeless death rate in los angeles county jumps by more than a third according to one report now you look at stories like this though uh most of these uh counties most of these uh, states are, are majority democrat when you look at what's been going on in california this may be something for the uh, republicans to bite off of to basically try to uh say that to try to use in the 2020 election but right now uh the democrats are they're starting out you can see that they're starting to smell blood you see just seen it in uh in the, in the november election we we just see what happened how they how they, the 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 republicans have been losing some seats still losing uh ground uh so so you have to look at story number three for what it is how will 2020 turn out how will they be able to uh get these seats back how will they be able to get back control of the majority but right now uh, there a lot of good hard-nosed republicans are blaming this president and a lot of republicans are just losing faith in uh, congress period
uh, Pete Buttigieg says Trump is least qualified of all candidates to run in 2020. Now, this is another candidate running on the Democratic ticket, trying to take shots at Trump. And, and you can look at the, you can look at the Democrats, how they, they've been saying that they've got the media in their favor, how they've got a, a lot of people brainwashed into believing that their policies are actually good for the public. And uh, that's why story number three is, uh, is, is, is here to stay. And I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon. Economy slows in Ohio. To this is another pivotal 2020 swing state so you see uh when you see if if trump's tax cuts uh do not lead into 2020 and they don't people start to see the economy slowing down the republicans could lose a lot of leverage when it comes to the next uh voting campaign because there are they are looking at the economy and they're looking at the job numbers and they're saying that this is all republicans doing but if these numbers slow down, then the Republicans may run into some trouble come 2020. So that's why story number three crept into the top eight. That's why it's uh, it's very I, w I would say keep it on it, especially if you're on the right and you're uh you're you're looking for these candidates, you're looking for your party. But uh, like I said, support for Trump has uh, been dwindling, and I, I this is why story number three made it to the top eight and why it's here to stay. Will the Republicans have enough votes come 2020? Because uh, they, they really have to jump on the bandwagon. Even some of their side is saying that the Democrats have a have a gift to campaign. And they're saying that is what the Republicans may lack. Now, conservative radio, let's, 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 if, you're, if you're on the right, you just, just hope and pray that they're able to gain enough uh, to, to rev up the base, to rev people up to get to the polls. But right now, they there is a target on this president's back. And that's why story number three crept into the top eight. You're the media to be Brian West. First, my duty every week to give you the top eight headlines, developing news stories. I'm not here to hurt you. Just keep you informed. Show you which stories are making it the most important for you to keep an eye on. If you want to check the stories that almost made it in, all you have to do is visit the website, check the stories that did make it in, and you can also contribute as well. I have to remind you that I'm just in the middle, just navigating through over 200 more stories every week, dissecting, figuring out which stories are most beneficial. I just navigate. Watching the pendulum flow from the right to the left, you yourself, uh, the, you you decide which stories are most beneficial to you. But I always try to give credit to the media, the people on the front lines. They deserve most of the credit. I I I just find which stories are 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 here, which headlines, developing news stories. So if you want to be a contributor, help out. I'm also geared towards the arts, helping out the community, doing what I can for the people who are gifted in talent and talent uh, and all other arts and stuff like that. So if you want to be a contributor, it doesn't take much. M E T H O D, the number at INC.com, method8inc.com, where you can buy something, click on something, watch something, read something, or just sponsor program. Once again, it's above my head. M E T H O D, the number at INC.com, method8inc.com, where you can buy something, click on something, watch something, read something, or just sponsor program. It's a little bit counts. Have no fear, fellow citizens. The